Hi guys, I'm Mashava and I decided to try commentating. Uh, Alright, this is my first commentary. And this is a legendary rank match. I reached Griffin. Um, Alright, so if you are decoding intent, always drop those uh, two pallets down. Seems like the hunter found me. Uh, that was a questionable string, but uh, I mean, <laughs> okay. Alright guys, when you are karting, you should uh, be behind yourself, uh, don't be like me. Uh, I just assume he followed me, but as we all know, uh, assuming is not a reliable strategy. Alright, um, so I transitioned out of uh, tent because basement is there and I don't want to do a two second kite there. I dodge the string. Alright, and here I dodge a hit somehow, but I don't know how it didn't hit, it's okay. And I make a pretty dumb move. Um, yeah, let's just don't talk about that. <laughs> Alright, here I dodge the string and shoot my gun so I won't get hit. And the mechanic can uh, still decode with uh, her main body. As we all know, uh, she gets a pretty bad debuff when someone gets hit. Alright, this uh, the force stop is a very good area for looting, especially with that one pallet that I just uh, dropped down. Um, Alright. Um, as you can see, this uh, violinist is a little bit clueless when it comes to strings, but uh, I'm also clueless when kiting, so it's kinda equal. Uh, I go to the second best looping area in this uh, side of the map, and I just use it for looping, that's why it is here. And here I mess up. <laughs> And I almost messed up badly, because if I get hit there, then that's an insta-down. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that would have been pretty bad. Actually, it wouldn't have been pretty bad, because uh, we have the last two ciphers. And we are down to one cipher, so we are in a good position. Um, okay, so if I'm right, the mechanic goes for the... Uh, rescue. She has crows, which is uh, pretty common when it comes to mechanic, because uh, when someone gets hit, uh, she just decodes with robot and uh, doesn't do anything with the main body, actually. Uh, here she places a priestess portal, and it would have been a good idea if I go there after save, but it's fine. And here she makes a pretty good save. Okay, so I just try my best in this area uh, and try to waste as much time as possible so they can prime the last cycle. Well, I didn't choose the best area actually, but um, it's fine. And I kinda ran into the string. And I tell them don't rescue me so they won't pop the uh, cipher and I won't get the insta down since the node doesn't have any attack recovery and uh, he could have just hit me with a normal attack. Oh, that was a good dodge, actually very close. But this was a good save. Uh, she managed to perfume back and even get the body block. Uh, so I just told them to pop the cipher because the perfumer already got hit and that was a pretty late pop, but it's okay. And maybe I should have kept that uh, pop for myself because here I just got down. I, I didn't even look back like I'm, I'm, I'm being a bot. It's fine. It, it's fine. Um, Perfumer was decoding this gate, which uh, wasn't the best idea actually, but we will see what will happen. Alright, so I get picked up and I will fly to the moon. <laughs>
Um, okay, Violin is the force to perfumer who just opens the gate and gets out. And this is a three man victory. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, commentary. This was my first one, so I mean, I did a video with my voice like one or two months ago, but this is the first uh, serious commentary. Alright, hope you guys uh, have a good day. Um, see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye!